News. Dr. Joely Proudfit was just appointed by Governor Gavin Newsom to the Commission on the Status of Women and Girls. She is the first indigenous woman to serve the organization. We would like to welcome Dr. Proudfit right here to the floor. First of all, congratulations to you on this appointment. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. We'll talk about that here for a moment. What does this mean to you when you heard from the governor? You said about a week ago or so. You know, I have a nine year old daughter. And so this, I really believe in the concept. If you can see it, you can be it. So this means the world to me um, that I will have a platform in which to bring forward uh, issues affecting Native women and girls and supporting the causes and issues that are important to all women in the state of California. But this particular focus of mine, which is to really look at the um, really oftentimes overlooked or the misrepre misrepresentation of Native women, this is an opportunity to set the record straight. And also at CSU San Marcos, you serve as the American Indian Studies Chair. What are some of the issues that uh, women are facing, indigenous women specifically, disproportionately in the state of California? Well, unfortunately, the issue of missing and murdered indigenous women has been a problem for indigenous women in North America. And, you know, there are a number of organizations, especially here in California and North County, San Diego, that work tirelessly to address the issues of missing and murdered indigenous women and domestic violence. And so I'm hoping that this appointment will help elevate the discussion and look at strategies and ways in which we can prevent some of those things from happening in the first place. But the other issue I would say that is of um, high critical importance is the um, issue of health care disparities. I think COVID-19 has shown a bright light on those issues and that we can do better, we must do better to end these inequitable causes of inequitable health care and to make sure that all women's health are prioritized. And so this is another area. And of course, um, I'm a firm believer in education. I really believe that education is the path to self-determination. As the first person in my immediate family to have an earn and high school diploma, nonetheless a doctorate, I do believe that education is key to um, really protecting and preserving your destiny and your future, and it opens the doors to so many different things. And lastly, um, media representations for indigenous people, um, we have often not been in charge of our own narrative, and especially true for Native women. So having access to make sure that we are our own best public relations experts and marketers and storytellers so that we are putting out the image that best represents us. And, and certainly it is a voice that we need to have at the table in order to make sure that there's equal representation. What is the first uh, thing that you would like to accomplish now that you're a part of this committee? Visibility that American Indian women are here. We are successful, we are accomplished. Um, we are some of the greatest uh, fashion designers. I'm wearing a dress by Bethany Yellowtail. Um, we are some of the most accomplished in terms of political voice. You know, the um, women's right ERA, the uh, women's movement to secure the right to vote really got its um, leadership and its foundation was from the Haudenosaunee women. Right. And so there is a number of really beautiful accomplishments that indigenous women have made to this country that really kind of go unrecognized. And so just really shining a light on um, not only the issues that we still have to work on, but really highlighting the accomplishments and the contributions and the resilience of indigenous women. Dr. Joely Proudfit, thank you so much for your time right here on the farm. We shall the best in this new role. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.